Okay, so I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Ninja Air Fryer thing that I got from Amazon here. I was going to do an unboxing, but this is literally everything that came out of the box. There's really nothing more to do. There's nothing in here because that was in there, and I took it out. We're going to do some hand-cut fries like you see there in the book, so I'm going to get that stuff ready and show you what it looks like. All right, so I have cut up the french fries and everything. They're ready to go. I've washed them and then dried them like the direction said to do. Put them all in there with the crisper plate that I showed you at the beginning. We're going to put it in. Hit power. We're going to set the temp to 390 for 20 minutes. And hit go. Hit a beep. You can hear the noise that it makes with the fan in the top. That's what it looks like. It does say to shake them about halfway through, like stop it, take the fries out and shake them. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Okay, so dinner is finished. I cleaned it up just by rinsing it out with uh, a little bit of water, and I uh, stuck it back in here and ran it for one minute to get it all dried out. Those were probably the best french fries I've ever put in my mouth. They were more potato-y than a regular french fry. Of course, I fresh cut them from a, a fresh potato. They were not frozen, but... The french fries were excellent. Everybody said that the air fryer was a good way to go. So yeah, uh, thumbs up. Okay, so there's one more thing that you should probably know about this. There is a vent right here on the back of this thing. And you'll probably want to pull it out away from the wall because uh, where we <laughs> glued all these rocks to the wall, um, they're, they're not glued anymore. So yeah, keep that in mind. Still though, thumbs up. This is the 4 Quart Ninja Air Fryer. It comes with two instruction manuals one is details on how to use it and warnings things like that and this is a quick start guide that gives you cooking times for all sorts of foods there's also a sticker on the side here that shows most common foods and right now we're going to throw in some french fries and after the french fries are done i'll go into more details about all the features and functions that come with this unit so we preheated it for three minutes which is recommended now it's nice and warm now we can open this area here and pour in our french fries. You don't want to fill it all the way, you want to have some space on the top. This is probably the maximum that I would fill it. You can hear the warmth from the preheating. I slide it back in there and we turn it on. And we set the temperature on the side here. Like I said, it has French fries, more common things, but it also has a lot more inside of this manual as well. These French fries are from Frozen, so we set the temperature to 350. And the time we set to 20 minutes. We choose air fry for our mode, and then we hit the play button. And like I said, once these fries are done, we'll see how they look. Then we'll get into all the details you should know about the Ninja if you're interested in getting one. As you're cooking, you always have to check to see how it's progressing because it often goes quicker than it shows on the, the time scale. And some french fries and most other foods are shaking around a bit and these guys look pretty much done and they're done early so to turn off the unit just push the power button and it's off and your food is ready to be eaten when you've taken the food out of your air fryer bucket this piece here comes out and you clean them both separately pretty easy to clean not a lot of grease not a lot of fat depending on what you cook there might be some but way less than a deep fryer and this piece is recommended that you keep it in here when you're cooking especially air frying because it helps make things brown and crispy so this is definitely a piece you want to have in here while you're cooking and you want to clean it that's how you take it out to clean it and on the air fryer itself the options we have are on normally you don't want to have this on with no bucket in here this gets quite hot inside of here here's our temperature selector up and down it goes to or goes from 105 Fahrenheit to 400 Fahrenheit 400 is as high as it goes and as low as it goes shows 300 
Let's switch to reheat. Let's put this down to 270. Roast goes down to 250 and dehydrate goes down to 105. So the range is 105 to 400, but the lower end of the range changes depending on which option you use, air fryer, reheat, roast, or dehydrate. There's also the timer up here, increase time, decrease time. This is minutes and seconds. You don't usually measure in hours in an air fryer because it goes pretty fast. And that's all the settings here. Once you have those set, you push play to turn it on. Then you push play again, that will pause it, and you take the bucket out, shake the contents around, mix them up, and then put them back in and push play again. And that's all there is to that. And the cord is two, two and a half feet long, pretty standard cord. And inside of the manual, this manual here is a pretty standard owner's guide type of manual, all pretty boring, legally stuff, troubleshooting, warranty. Here's how the buttons work, pretty boring stuff. This one is much more exciting because it comes with a lot of helpful tips. We have using air fryer's functions on the first page, air frying 101 on the second page. Air fry tips and tricks. You can pause the video and read them over here. Over here you can read dehydrating tips and tricks. Air fryer cooking chart. For best results, shake and toss often. That's what I was saying where you push pause, you take the bucket out, you shake and toss the, the food in there and put it back in. Helps make it nice evenly brown. More cooking chart. Dehydrate chart, examples for dehydrating. So let's go back here. Examples for air frying, asparagus, beets, cauliflower, all kinds of vegetables, chickens, fish and seafood, beef, pork and lamb, frozen foods. Dehydrate examples, fruits and vegetables, meat and poultry, beef jerky, chicken jerky, turkey jerky, salmon jerky. And for dehydrate, I said earlier, you measure time on a on an air fryer in minutes, not hours. But here, you do measure it in hours for the dehydrate. For the air fryer, you don't, but for the dehydrate function, you do. And roast, more than likely as well. We haven't used roast much, but more than likely that can go into the hours as well. And then there are 10 recipes. Frozen french fries, jalapeno poppers, beef jerky, French toast bread pudding, bacon and pepper breakfast hash, pork loin with vegetables, spice rib chicken breast with chimichurri, lemon herd panko crusted cod, baked apples. And that is the end. So this is really helpful. This is helpful in certain situations, but mostly it's boring. And this Ninja Air Fryer slash roaster slash reheater slash dehydrator is pretty darn cool.